Is it possible to defeat body armor with a shotgun? Okay, we got a little extra time, so we're gonna shoot these polycarbonate, carbon, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> polycarbonate with a carbide core. Say that a couple times there. Carbidding core. It, let's see if these things will go through that armor plate. You never know. Today we'll be shooting at the AR-500 Level three armor plate. Okay, shot one, 500 yards. Oh, sorry. Go right. for it. I not to the right. Uh, what do you need? A laser dot so people know where you're aiming. Yes. Okay, shot two. Laser shot on the fucking. I think, are you aiming at the sand pile or that telephone pole over there? Uh, or that yellow thing that you're aiming at? Okay, go for it. <laughs> I'm like looking down. Let's go. Hit it. There you go. Oh! Now we got a hit. There you go. Oh! Now we got a hit. Now. I think it went through. I think it did. You can see. We have penetration with a shotgun and an AR-500 armor plate. Cause look, there's no paint. Yeah, it went through it. Then it went through the, the pumpkin. Which is the human. <laughs> yeah, out the back, and then somewhere. So I had absolutely no hope for those rounds. I, had zero. I really didn't, because the first one flew so wonky. It might be in there, but it's not no, it, it penetrated full penetration, man. Look at this. There's pumpkin. Guy. Wow. Wow. That's and now we'll shoot at the armor plate with a Ruger gunsight scout rifle in 308. This is Darren's new rifle. And this is the first time he's ever shot it. Okay, now we'll shoot it with a 308. This is to prove that it is an AR-500 armor piece, armor plate. Whenever you're ready, Darren. Nice effect. So that's the 308. That's the shotgun. That's a, unbelievable. I can't believe the shotgun went through that. The 308 sniper rifle did not. Is that a sniper rifle? <laughs> and it, the ball, you know, you can see the ripping action of the bullet fragments. Molten hot lead just tearing like a, like a knife through that thing. And it's probably, it radiates almost directly straight out. It's something else. Good shooting. Okay, now let's go to the high speed footage and see what went wrong and what went right. Now, if you've been watching our videos where we've shot these large, kind of low density rounds, the common denominator is they do not fly straight. They're just something aerodynamically wrong with them. This one, it had a lot of good spin on it, but it just had no stability. So why did shot two work? Now, as you can see, the slug actually broke into two pieces, a forward piece with the carbide core, and then the, the lightweight tail end actually separated. But because of that, because of that fluke, the carbide core remained in the proper position flying straight forward and at, at a high velocity and pierced that plate. And because carbide is a much harder metal than that AR-500 plate, it just popped right through it. And what's really remarkable is these were shot with a low power federal birdshot shell that you'd get in a bulk pack at Walmart. So it's absolutely remarkable that this worked. This, it shouldn't have worked. Now when we were shooting with the 308, we put those two pressurized bottles next to the plate to demonstrate how much a bullet 
fragments when it hits a bare metal plate. Now these plates normally have a rubberized coating on them which prevents that from happening but without that covering it just absolutely shreds everything around it. We absolutely love shooting at those big blast target inflator bottles. Check out the description. It's a cheap gift if you want to give a shooter or an archer something cool for Christmas. Also check out Tim's from Tactical G-Code's video on his 50 caliber Sabo AP round.